been a minute. Uh, if you couldn't tell by just how out of practice I am, it took me a lot of attempts just to make this shot work. Which I guess this isn't exactly the kind of shot. Anyways, how are you doing? It's been a minute. I should probably lock this up. had a couple of like random like little camera problems and I'm so out of practice when it comes to filming that I just have really no idea what I'm doing. Anyways, I've been on a break if you weren't aware for the last two months. I'm not even sure if I'm uh, recording sound right now. I'm gonna double check that. But you know, it's had a, a mild price on my capacity to film. Merci. Merci I haven't been to Strata in a long time either. It's nice. It's good to be here. Anyways. I'm just uh, waiting for my buddy Corey to show up. We'll see how long that takes him. And uh, thought I'd get you caught up on where I've been, why I needed the break, how much good it's done me, which, spoiler alert, it's done me a ton of good. I should have done this a long time ago. I've been converted to the idea that maybe rest is a good thing. Turns out rest is a good thing. Necessary for life, I don't know. I don't know how I didn't figure that out sooner. You know these things. You say you know them. Do you do them? No. Why would you actively do what's good for you when you can just keep working yourself to death? But I'm not dead, so that's, that's a bonus. Some of the random camera parts that betrayed me earlier. <sighs> I mean, I'm grateful for them, but sometimes, sometimes things just don't work out. Anyways, one thing we should probably just get out of the way uh, that's obvious and right in front of us is I still have a van move and I don't have a Hemiway anymore. If you didn't see the uh, scooter video that uh, mostly nobody watched, yeah, it got stolen while, while Jess was using it, unfortunately. I was gonna let her be the one to tell you that, but she said that in a video that has yet to be released. Because I'm so out of, just everything's out of order right now. Just chronologically, we're, we're a mess. This guy uh, is finally behaving properly. I've had one little problem with it. Got it fixed. But otherwise, it's the bike that I should have had a year ago. So uh, I'm not gonna harp on it too much. I'm not gonna, well, I'll just keep riding it and see how it goes. Cause honestly, as long as it's functioning well, it's a phenomenal bike. And uh, if, it, if it completely falls apart again, I'll be sure to let you know. I hope it doesn't. Cause I really don't want, I, I would rather never talk about it again. Cause it just kind of stresses me out, but you know, updates. Anyways, where have I been? I mean, it, it's definitely been a hot minute, hasn't it? <sighs> I've been resting. That's where I've been. But before we get to that part and like how I think I'm actually doing better uh, all around, and I am doing a lot better. How did I get there? How did I get to the point where I needed to take a break in the first place, right? Uh, and it's, a, it's a fair question. It all started on a dark and stormy night some time ago. <laughs> I've come to realize that I was going through a lot of things all at once, but over a long span of time at the same time, if that makes sense. The, the biggest has been my shifting sense of identity, my shifting sense of self as I become an adult, as I live abroad. I'll go for it, go for it. A lot of who I used to be, how I used to think of myself, how I used to talk about myself has changed and fairly dramatically. And that's very unsettling. And also a lot of it was from places of poor health, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. I haven't even been willing to broach the subject of spirituality at all, you know, for years because just so much of what I thought I used to believe, uh, you know, came, came tumbling apart over the course of time. And that takes a toll, you know, and it really changes. 
I mean, it really changes everything. Your entire outlook on life, the future, the past, the stories you told about yourself, and the way that you look at yourself moving forward. Having all of those things fundamentally shift has been a deeply unsettling experience, but also a very, very rich experience. It's been really hard, but I'm, I'm really grateful for it. I don't know if you can hear, like there's a, a, a protest going on in the background. And I have a tiny visitor in the background too. Let's find another, let's find another spot. Those things like identity really end up playing a huge role in how everything pays off, plays off, plays out. Because when you think about it, like my tendency to burn out, which I've done multiple times now, and I hope I never do again, is directly tied to my sense of worth being tied up in how productive I am. Like, what am I accomplishing? If I'm not working, am I worth anything? What is my value? And it, it, whatever I've produced before doesn't really count because that's in the past, that's behind me. So I gotta keep working to make something new to still be, this is a, this is a nightmare. But it's tied into a lot of where I come from, a lot of how I see myself, a lot of the kind of stuff that I've gone to therapy for, which has been really beneficial to have finally gotten through uh, a couple years of that and random update, but effectively I think I graduated from therapy. Like my therapist is like, I don't think you need this anymore. I think you're doing really well, which is a good sign. I am doing really well. But it's been because I needed this time to kind of let a few things come together and have a culmination of like, oh wow. Like I'm, I'm doing great. But it's taken a really long time to get there. And so, I, I don't know, it's crazy to think. It's actually, you know, our, our lives, we're the culmination of all the experience that we have so far. A lot of the experience that I had was reinforcing a lot of really unhealthy things. And I'm very grateful, especially to my patrons and to you for watching this, because YouTube and vlogging, even though I never set out to be a YouTuber, I never wanted to be a YouTuber. I wanted to vlog and I wanted to share the story of my life because I thought I was gonna be doing interesting things with my life and to make a good story. But the process of doing that and sharing that openly and starting to see myself from a perspective that was outside myself, quite literally, through the act of editing and everything, really enabled me to make some huge strides that I otherwise never would have been able to make, I don't think. I, think, I, think, I really think that vlogging was a huge part of getting me out of this hump. So that's loosely where I was before. All this stuff about like identity and my sense of worth and all the struggles that I had in not working and in being terrified to not have any money because if you don't work, you don't have money, all those kinds of things. Uh, we'll get into those, I think, in more depth down the line, but that's kind of what led me to my latest burnout as much as anything. But in the later stages of that identity piece is that as I lost multiple layers of what I felt was my identity, what was my identity? <sighs> vlogging filled that hole for me, daily vlogging unintentionally became my identity. I, I never wanted to be a YouTuber, but I became one as a way of filling this gaping hole in my life, which was like, who am I? What do I stand for? What do I believe? What am I doing with my life? I really didn't know. I didn't have good answers to that. And without realizing it, that's what I fell into. And so when I burned out really hard and I finally came to the point where I needed to take a break, it was really, really hard to stop vlogging. As you know, if you've been watching for a long time, like I went to like vlogging three weeks out of the month or maybe just not weekends or, you know, so five days a week and I just never could fully let go of it because my sense of worth and my sense of identity were so deeply tied to that idea that I could do it, that I could produce a video every day, that I could keep things going, that I could be at least remotely entertaining. It was really, really hard to let go of. And it took me until this break, this time around where I finally just put it all down for a couple months and didn't touch it again to finally actually break that. Hopefully for the last time, we can hope. But I mean, we, it, I did, I did. So I mean, what did I do on this break? Which I did have a good break. Of course, as soon as you put your sunglasses away, that's when you need them the most. I started out resting. I've been taking a lot more naps, which has been great. Just a 20 minute power nap, which usually actually, they're like 17 or 18 minutes for me. Makes a huge world of difference. Makes the whole world feel better, slightly. It's like better. I don't know why I question that. Better is the correct answer. I finally got in the gym for the first time since I moved to France, which has been really good. 
I wish they had more free weights, but you know, you make do with what you got in a tiny space, I guess. I did a good job of resting. I actually hit, hit the wall really hard while my dad was still here and I had a bunch of videos that I filmed but hadn't edited yet. And I got to the point where I like felt physically ill just looking at Adobe products. It was really bad. Some migraines and stuff and my eyes were straining and yeah, things just weren't good. So I started resting. I actually did like stop making videos and I thought it'd just be for a few weeks. And then I realized as I stopped, like, holy cow, like I, I, I don't think I should go back to this anytime soon. I need more rest. I started being really good about it. Like I didn't have any energy. I was sleeping like 11 hours a day. I just didn't have any motivation to do anything at first. And then I got COVID. That didn't help. I mean, it helps you rest in a way because you sleep even more, but like, it doesn't help with the rate of recovery so much. It's kind of important. Yeah, I don't recommend getting COVID. Get vaccinated. We're, if you, you know, be, be safe. Running is one of the things that I've been able to do uh, a while after I got COVID. I didn't go for much of a run, I don't think, for the first uh, couple of weeks. Then I started to try it and finally ran a 10K, which is good. I ran that. I guess about like five or six weeks after I got COVID, it took a while to recover. Thankfully, I did recover. But, uh, oh yeah, I've also been losing weight, which is good. I'm about 15 pounds down. I gained a few pounds on the bachelor weekend we just went on. This place is to be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice place to be. And how is it September? We're just sitting here enjoying the yeah. It's October, by the way. But okay. Good point. Mm. Someone's getting married in a few weeks, right? Who's that? Uh, no, Who's that getting married? True. That can't be true. This Will you guy, not play fives or something? I don't know. <laughs> that rabbit outfit. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was good. I, that's probably about all the footage that I can show you safely or legally. But, you know, I gained like five pounds over that weekend. Two of which I lost the day after and then I've lost another since then. So it'll all come back on. It's just, it's a long game. But hopefully get to my goal by mid-December. We'll talk about that more later as well, but I'm going to keep running. Just walked a friend home from a surgery. I didn't walk her home. I escorted her home in a taxi from surgery. It was a last minute surgery. Thankfully, she's fine. Um, I don't know, it's really, I'm just really grateful uh, that I have friends. I don't know, I'm just thinking, I'm, maybe I, I'm not ready to talk on camera, I guess, after this, but, you know, take care of the people you love, I guess. But yeah, I feel like, the funny thing is, and we'll talk about this more, I've mentioned this before, and we'll talk about this more. Blogging has its, its downfalls, its pitfalls, obviously, sound control is one of those. I was playing with uh, the microphone yesterday, I definitely wanna mic up more as I go. Not always gonna be possible, but I'd like to do that more. Also, it helps to eliminate some of the random uh, background noises and conversations and so forth that you hear as I'm out and about. But the other thing is that when you're vlogging, especially daily, it's like living your life uh, with a donut. And by that I mean, if you ever played baseball, one of the ways you'd warm up is you'd put this weight up on the bat. It's called it a donut, where I was from at least. And it was a couple pounds of additional weight that you would swing and feel like the bat was really heavy. And as soon as you took that off, the bat would feel incredibly light and it would just make it easier to, to, to bat. The funny thing is that in not vlogging daily, uh, stopping that or vlogging really regularly, it's like taking the donut off and life is suddenly so much easier, which makes it easier to have the motivation and the energy to diet. It makes it easier to have the motivation to get so many things done that I've wanted to get done, like uh, getting my driver's license. Which theoretically, by the end of the day today, as I'm filming, I should know for sure whether or not I've actually gotten my license or not. I passed, hopefully I passed the test, but I, they don't let you know for 48 hours. I'm gonna 
I'm making a video about getting my driver's license. Because after a year of living here, my driver's license no longer valid. So I had to get it. It's also something to know, coming to Paris, they're doing away with paper tickets. It's finally happening. Long overdue, if we're being honest. And uh, you know, hopefully better for the environment and so forth. Hopefully they catch up and just do contactless payment. Oh no, the escalator's broken. Let's take the stairs. But of course, in this moment of grave disappointment, begs the question, what's next? <laughs> don't know how to hold the camera and drink anymore but it'll come back Film in my in my gym, uh, but you know, a little bit. I think it's gonna be fine. Just gotta keep people's faces out of it. Where we go from here is an interesting question, because this has been an experiment for me in vlogging, which also happened at a rough time because I had a couple friends get really sick yesterday. So that was kind of stressful. And then also, you know, just waiting on like test results and paying my taxes, or at least getting my taxes filed, which is also way more expensive now that I have like a, a, a corporation here in Europe. But the two things that came out of it are that I really, really like doing this. I really miss vlogging. I really miss daily vlogging. And also, I'm not quite ready to get fully back into it yet. I was playing more. My goal would be to get back to doing these like once a week. Not a full weekly vlog. I don't want to be filming every day. Obviously, I need to cut that back significantly. But filming over the course of like two or three days, editing as I go. Getting back to the feeling of, of my daily vlogs where I felt like I was at the peak of that while also being able to tell a story throughout, talk about what's going on while showing, you know, just little snippets of life. It's kind of what I would like to get back to. And then maybe doing one longer video uh, a month that's on a specific topic like getting my driver's license, which actually where I'm going now is one of the coffee shops I sat and studied at a little bit while I was preparing for that. And, um, it's like garbage truck Thursday. For now is to ease back into it. I'm gonna release the last few videos that I made over the summer that I haven't edited or released yet and that'll bring season seven to a close. For those of you that weren't aware, I, I've been vlogging in seasons since the beginning basically. Although my seasons were like literally over a year long. I'm back. Vlog at day 379. Which is absurd. So they've kind of jumbled around and lost their meaning a little bit but that's kind of the point. I'd like to bring everything to a bit of a close with season seven and we'll open season eight and open a new chapter with that. That's my hope because I've definitely really enjoyed this the last couple of days running around filming again. I've really missed it and I really want to get back to it. Like I really miss being able to share. There's so much exciting stuff going on and life is, is really good even though I've been slow moving and I've been struggling for a while now for a number of different reasons. I feel like I'm, I'm coming out of it and I'm gonna try and be patient. I'm not gonna push it. As you may know, my temptation is always to uh, just run as hard and fast as I can towards the nearest cliff 
and or wall. So I'm gonna try not to do that. But I'm gonna ease back in, make a few more videos like this, hopefully by the end of the year, as well as get those other videos out. And, and then I'm really hopeful that by the beginning of 2022, which is crazy to think that that's already here, I'll be actually doing all right. And, and able to, yeah, get back up and running. I just miss being able to talk to you on the regular. There's just so much to share. And uh, I gotta figure out the best way to get back into it. And we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out together. Thanks for sticking with me. I, really, I mean, if you made it to the end of this video, you've definitely been sticking with me for a while. And I'm really looking forward to talking with you that much more. And if you, this is the first time you've ever found one of my videos, please do stick around. I would love that. Thanks to Susan Stewart, today's patron producer, to all my patrons for making this possible, for making this break possible, and so many things, both secret and public, possible over the last couple of years. I'm looking forward to sharing all of it with you. And I will see you bright and early one of these mornings sometime soon for more of this silly nonsense from Paris. And uh, yeah, hoping, really hoping that it's more sooner than later. See you for that.